All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I don't have my mask today, so there's a towel on my face. And I'm here with Avery. We're gonna be reacting to straight A versus flunking students. Do good grades matter? This is uh, a question I've had on my mind for quite a while, because uh, I feel like they don't. What about you? Nah, I, uh, it's 50-50. Yeah. I, I, I don't think they matter. I think it really depends on your life situation, but for the overwhelming majority of people, I think they don't, but uh, whatever, let's check it out. Um, definitely keeping up with all the work, especially when you're like me and you procrastinate a lot. Being a student is the most stressful thing ever. I, I it don't really know. Is. Yeah, just the constant assignments and everybody mm -hmm. just racing ahead of you. It's really annoying. Don't get yeah, as much I just help graduated. I yeah. Um, university. So like, it was really, really weird coming home, playing video games, and be like, wait, I don't actually have to stress about if I have to do my homework assignment before 11:59 p.m. today. I can just keep playing my games yeah, and enjoy them that's, that's it was it was surreal that's a ridiculous uh, feeling especially when you have like it's holidays so suddenly and you're like wow oh yeah okay there's not much stuff to do by the way i'm on both of these spectrums in high school i'm a straight a student and in college <laughs> i'm a flunking student so pretty much the same yeah, yeah. Uh, well, what first comes to mind is like preppy doesn't really go outside of like their house kind of. I got a four point CG. I, honestly, I've seen I've seen like a variety of people. Like some straight A students are like perfect in all aspects of life. Mm -hmm. Like they're like super fit, super uh, like yeah. they're, they're in they're part of the debate team or something like that. And uh, yeah, they get good grades, everything. And then there's the other side who just plays video games and you know studies. Honestly, I'm Randy. This is I'm like 15. the more debate kind of Jubilee, isn't it? It's not like the you choose a side. It's yeah. you have to make people kind of it's come a, to it's your side. Mid, it's middle ground essentially. Like yeah, you yeah. understand each other, and you know. Yeah. Because you, I don't know about you, but in my school, all the straight A kids look down on the flunkies, and honestly. Yeah. I, you know, I couldn't comprehend it. I was just like, how can you possibly fail? It's so easy to pass, right? You just show up High to school, class. Yeah. And then, and then I pretty failed. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, okay. Pretty much when you're just not interested in what you're doing, that's how you fail, mm -hmm. you know? Get my flunking students on the left and my straight A students on the right. Dude, imagine showing up to the show as a flunking student, man. That's a, oh, how do you yes. even recruit them? Hey, all the failures yeah. in class, can you can you sign up for my show? Oh, it sounds <laughs> so painful. I believe my grades define my intelligence. Absolutely not. I hope not. they all disagree. disagree. I hope they all disagree. Yeah. It's just memorization. It has nothing to do. Uh-huh define like how smart I am like that's the biggest like security point I have like in, like as a person and I've just always been smart and like I always want people to think I'm smart yeah I believe like that's really true for me I believe like some subjects will enable you to show your intellect in some way shape or form like math but I do think that grades can show someone's intellect whether it's you know you see understanding the I feel like even if you're good at math and you know traditionally smart things I mean, what's the point of it? You're literally just, yeah. you're literally just, I mean, for me, math was also pretty much just memorization. It was, you memorize how to solve the problem. That At least that was, that's what it was for me. You memorize yeah. the formulas and how to approach a problem. They would give you this step-by-step -step solution and you had to look at like previous year papers and like memorize that stuff. And that's the only way you'd get the answers. You know, uh, you know, the reason the school system was made, apparently it was some, some guy who wanted to prove that he was smarter than everybody else. So he started an exam system or something. Really? Yeah. It was like oh. this supremacist or something. I don't know. I didn't step up because I don't believe because I'm not comprehending the concept of geometry or algebra or poetry. That does not make me dumb or that does not make me less smart of a person. Yeah, I True. think also people have different styles of learning. And a lot of times mm -hmm. schools try to put you in this mold. I like this Cooper they, guy. Yeah, this guy is smart. And He's based. Aren't always made for that mold. See, this is how you define intelligence. You see what someone says and you're like, oh, mm -hmm. that's kind of smart, you know? I think schools take into account that not all people are willing to learn by reading a book. True, so true, dude. The a Fantasia Buck thing, reading. right? The thing where you can't visualize images. That's just yep. torture for us. Like, who, for, like I can't see any images. I don't know. Do you have it? Really? Yeah, I can't no, see any no, images. No, I'm, no, I'm a very mental, visually like aware person, but I, I hate reading. Yeah. Just, 
I, I no. Yeah, for me, <laughs> reading is nope. literally just words. Because if you tell me to visualize an apple, I don't see an apple. I can't. I just can't. I can't. Really? I just see black. Yeah, I can't That's visualize so anything. Yeah, it's it's freaking boring. That's why I have to keep. That's why I love like watching anime and shows and high pack action things because huh. you get to see stimulated. some stuff. Yeah. Are you proud of He's you? based. Yeah. I am because it kind of like shows all my hard work and all that because I come from like a family that really didn't have anything and being a straight A student allows me to pay homage True. to all the hard work and so it makes me really proud to be yeah it made me really proud as well whenever uh I would get good grades and stuff but mm -hmm. I realized that that feeling lasted for a day like my mom and dad would be like oh good job and then a day later yeah. it just Nothing. I was like, I worked for six months. All I get is a good job, pretty much. And I'm like, pretty much. Ah, yep. that's so frustrating. I'm just like, okay, it's not worth it. Anyone can get good grades if they work hard enough. Hundred percent. I think. I think no. Some people are just bad at subjects. Of course, like if you try your really? hardest yeah. and if you do all your work, you do all your work. Like me at computer science, like I there's <laughs> absolute dude. I took the same <laughs> module three semesters in a row and i failed all three times how's that even possible like i was just like okay oh my the, the, yeah i was like like uh, okay like there's no way i can study for 18 months or something and get it wrong like it's just insane of course, there's two sides to hard work itself because working hard that can mean like studying and like working super hard to better your own skills but you can also work super hard to cheat and work super hard to get answers to the test and work super I mean, hard in that manner. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, it's, I think that is a, like a different type of intelligence, you know, finding a way to cheat and get past it. I mean, it, honestly, as they say, if you don't get caught, it's not cheating, you know? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame the students. I blame the teachers. Like, they should have measures in place so that you can't cheat. If the option's open, obviously students are going to take it, you know? That, that's a lesson in itself that's like an experience of learning is that you need to make friends with your teachers. They'll want to give you a good grade if you're friends with them. There's some I, uh, I feel like you shouldn't be well. sucking up to your teachers, bro. Like, they should be your friends naturally. It works, like, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I really don't like suck-ups. I'm just like, dude, get out of here. <laughs> dude, I was that kid that mm. always ate in class, right? So eating was not allowed. And I would always, always eat. Like, And I would like finish my work faster than everybody else just so I could eat. And the teacher mm -hmm. could never say anything. It was just super funny because the teacher would always like that. look at me with my like Tiffin box and it's like, uh, why are you eating? <laughs> I'm like, I finished so that I can do whatever I want. It's it just funny. Like they would tell me four yeah. times in a class, stop eating. I'm like, no. <laughs> just, no. I was always that kind of student. Finish yeah. everything early and then go on my phone. And then what's the teacher going to say? Stop going on your phone because you're done yeah. your work? Like, yeah, and I, was, I was like one of the like, high scorers or whatever so they didn't want to kick me out of class anyways <laughs> so mm -hmm. this is great no i'm not self-conscious because i know there's a lot more students that are in my same boat i used to be they just have trouble we now have a youtube channel students. baby <laughs> i can't relate to the other side oof oh the phone curse can relate to the straight a's the flunkers so cannot really. Yeah. Hmm. Straight A's ever like I've never been like on the top in the top of my class. I've always been struggling or. To I've be honest, now that I'm a flunker, I can't relate to them anymore. <laughs> like before, I could, but. I'm not. I'm not like them. I don't stay up till three in the morning to study. I don't stay up till three in the morning to do a project. I'll stay up till probably like one. And I'm like, you know what? I mean, I'm done. Like, I really I wish guess. students were more motivated to do like interesting work, but the work just isn't yeah. interesting. Like being like the idea that of being a student, I can't relate to because I'm always wanting to go out and like I have an essay due or like there's a paper that I have and you know, there's a paper. Bro, you and me but all. There's a skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hop on that skateboard. Like, I'm but out. The, I, okay, like, hold up. The difference between what everyone's saying here is, like, the amount of effort that they're willing to put in. Yeah. Like, no one asks you to, if for school, no one asks you to stay up until 3 in the morning. Yeah. Your work shouldn't take you, if the average person gets off school around 3 p.m., it shouldn't mm. take you 7, 8, 9, it shouldn't take you 12 hours. Yeah, to some people finish just your work. have trouble studying and stuff like that. I mean, our brains are all designed differently. It's really hard I guess, to tell. I guess the way I see it is, like, it, 
if you if you have bad grades and you're putting in that much effort to study, you're either studying wrong or you should just not study at all and have a good time because you're not going to get the good grade anyways. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I guess. Like yeah. I th- there's two ways that I see that and I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm mm-hmm. just being very close-minded about it, but I don't know. The fun I have just hanging out with friends and just like doing whatever we want whenever we want. It's just so much better. Than Honestly, me. this guy's living life, bro. <laughs> he's yeah, going to look exactly. back that's and be like, yeah. That's my mentality. Yeah. He's just, dude, life is too short. Like, Enjoy yourself. Oh, I just got an A. Like, exactly. Yeah. You're young. It's not, worth, it's not worth like destroying yourself for like an extra like five more marks or something. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, so I can definitely relate to the idea of being a flunking student because I feel like there's two types. There's I one she type said that the F-word. doesn't choose to do the work, and then there's the other type of where I cannot understand this, I need help, and I relate to both because there's some times where like I've gotten a grade on a test, like I failed it, and there's times like I'm not gonna retake that. Like that's too hard, why would I waste my time? And then there's times where I'm like, oh my freaking god, like I cannot understand this for the life of me. Oh dude, I'm the type of person who like when when, when I don't understand anything, it's over for me. Cause if I it's ask, over. dude, uh, there's n- no time ever that somebody's explained something to me and I've understood. I'm just like, okay, no, I don't get it. Like if I don't get it, uh, you're not getting it. <laughs> that's just how it is for I can't me. Help. You know, there's some people that do, there's some people that don't. I can 100% relate to you guys because I know what it feels like to be sitting at a desk at 11 at night and wondering how in the hell am I going to finish this. And luckily, I've been able to push through, but I can see how someone couldn't. I yeah, really true. Really There's a lot of decisions you make like d- late at night and you're like, okay, am I going to continue studying or am I going to go to bed or something like that, you know? And you guys still have 4.0s. I am yeah. lucky if I pass with a 2.0. In a way, I see your guys' point. Like uh, I had a 1.95 in no school. No matter what type Ooh, of flunking student college. you are, you are always going to be characterized with the stereotypes that a flunking student is not smart. They just don't do their work. They're lazy. I'm not going to say that I'm an F student and I'm proud of it. Of course, I'm not proud about being an F student. But there's an essence but of that, though. I'm not- well, there's uh, some people who are just straight up lazy and have like zero ambition exactly. or whatever. But there's also some people who might be interested in something else. Like, I don't know, when I'm failing in but- college, I'm making videos, so... Yeah. The be- difference between college and high school is yeah. high school, all you have to do is show up. Half the time... Well, it's kind of different. Like, I mean, uh, like, for my high school, it was super hard as well. So it was harder oh, okay. than college almost, yeah. So Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's a different around all the right. world. Where I am, it's like... It's super... Like, you literally show up, and we have, we have laws in place called No Child Left Behind. Oh. And it's exactly what it sounds like. Wow. You can't fail. It is legally almost impossible for you to fail oh. like you you quite literally have to like curse out the teacher and not take the tests not show up and literally the whole nine yards to fail right and yeah it's 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 hard to, it's harder to fail than it is to pass mm. is what i'm trying to say Damn. so like i don't know i'm going in with that mindset i mean do your friends from college know your online presence or anything oh no they, yeah well so Only, like, two of them, but that's because mm-hmm. I told them. So you're pretty much Spider-Man, you know? You've got another life, yeah. like, straight it's up. It's kind of nice. Yeah. It's nice. For it's really my nice. Mental. My parents helped me with my work. They did, yeah. For me. I never actually had that. My father was never really around, to be fair. Mm. Um, I won't say my mom helps me with, like, my English work, my math, my science. When I was doing theater, she would help me memorize my lines. She would help me write the essays to, like, certain directors of the show. She pushes Good me to do it myself, which mm. I'm glad about. Oh, well, I mean, I think this was more of, like, when I was in the sixth grade or something, because high school and college stuff, like, they can't be asked. It'll take too long for even them to, like, yeah. get it. What's your dream job? Uh, oh. What was it for you? YouTuber? I think my dream job when I was younger was a lawyer. I wanted to be a lawyer. I'm very good at arguing, and I'm very, very oh, persistent. Oh, dude, it's so much work, though. Uh, I know, I took so a I didn't class do it. and I hated it. It was just memorizing yeah. for like yep. insane amounts. Oh my god, but then, it was so bad. Yeah. But now I'm kind of. Then I wanted to join the military because I wanted to do like I just wanted to support my country. I it's something about it just like mm. felt right. grand. But then I was like, well, I can't because I have a lot of issues. So the runner-up was to become to work at a military contractor, which mm. I do now as a software engineer. Right. So like. It's kind of nice that I'm where I'm where I think I'm supposed to be, and then yeah. I can do like what a, I enjoy. You still on the side. have a goal to work towards too, as well. Exactly. Like yeah. I can just I can still grow slowly, and I can become a streamer. Like I don't, 
Yeah. Editing, not fun for me. I just mm. don't like it. For me, but... when I was small, like I, I, I didn't. I hated pretty much every job. I was just like, oh my god, my life's gonna <laughs> suck. So my dream was to just um, make enough to do nothing with my life. Just I don't know, like retire have like- have this uh i had this dream right i was in this room surrounded by a bunch of chips packets and like i had this super computer and stuff so yeah it was like this epic secret hideout setup okay, south park yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i was just like yeah that's my dream but uh eventually when like at 18 or something then it changed to youtube and now yeah yeah i, I think i still have a goal of maybe becoming a streamer i'm still not sure but uh yeah that might be a thing later on Especially for the ones that I am failing, such as English. I'm not putting my 100%. Oh, all the flunkings, I would never agree. I'd be like, nah, I deserve fire. <laughs> like, oh, there's no way I deserve to flunk. Dude, flunking is brutal, dude. You have to take it yeah. again. That is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. So how about you help me in the in the semester so that I don't have to take it again? Like, the support tools are so bad. Think about the kids who are, like, working diligently on that project, trying to get a good grade. But just because I was able to finish it out, whip it out last minute, or my teacher likes me, or I'm a good student overall, um, I don't think that that's, like, a fair advantage to have. See, I mean, I, I, you know, I've seen, uh, you know, sometimes, I remember, because I was just a, kind of, like, a good student, I would get a bunch of answers right that were actually wrong, Mm -hmm. because the teacher just assumed that I would get it right, and I remember looking at my my paper, and I'm like, Oh, wow, these are all marked correct, and these are all wrong. I'm like, oh, okay then. Like, you can have a really chill, mellow teacher in your worst subject, and it'll make you work harder, and you can have a really strict teacher. Yeah, I mean, teachers kind of define what happens. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I want to go to college. Absolutely not. Wish I didn't have to. All Um, of them want to go. Bruh. I haven't really had the college talk, but I've had. I think because they're young. I think because they're not YouTubers. <laughs> I mean, they haven't been presented with any other option. Obviously, they want to go to college. And fun fact, being like I was pretty much a straight A student in high school and stuff like that. And then when I got to college, I was a straight C student. Cuz yeah. like you're Cause you're better I, off. Cuz I did I got working. into my dream college with all these absolute giga slayers like i was not supposed to be there like these freaking harvard <laughs> kids pretty much smarter than harvard kids straight up and uh yeah i was just like okay dude i'm not supposed to be here but uh and they continued putting the same amount of effort meanwhile i i discovered mm-hmm. youtube and i'm like oh it's over for me <laughs> if you're not putting like every single uh, hour of every day into it you're just gonna mm-hmm. fall behind and that yep. sucks yep. College to make my family yep. proud. I really smart. easy for me I am smart. Do you, do you consider yourself smart? I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but I genuinely believe I'm smarter than the average person. I, no, me... I see so many idiots on the internet, I, I know I'm smart. <laughs> like, <laughs> just the amount of people I cover on my channel, I'm like, yeah, I'm probably yeah. smart, bro. <laughs> There's so many things that define smart. That guy in the background, if you go back five seconds, he smart. didn't want to be left alone in that light. Define- <laughs> he was like, he was, he was like, oh, I don't know what I want to do. Smart. And it's not just being. They're smart. all going. It's smart. it's smart. Just knowledge. And I have a lot of knowledge. And I know knowledge, strength, and integrity. Knowledge, are you the KSI? Knowledge. Are you the KSI, bro? Can you win as imposter in Among Us? Then you're smart. Yeah, I'm the smartest person in the room. Like, you, might, you might not feel like that, but you're smart to yourself. Like, you. You're the one, you're the only person who knows how nah, you Nah, there's, there's, there's some, that sounds so there's fake, some like, people. That sounds so fake that, like, oh, you're smart in your heart, bro. <laughs> that's, that's like, oh my god, that's like the nicest way to say you're you, stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> you know, so it's like, you might not know something about her that I know. That doesn't make you, like, dumb compared to, to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody's still smart in their own way. I, feel like I mean, yeah. Has yeah, everyone has something to offer. No I mean, what. you might have, like, the flunking student might have an extensive knowledge of RuneScape. Like, he's smart in something else, you know? Like, it's just I mean, because yeah. it's not being tested. That's why, like, yeah, it seems that he's dumb, but, yeah. At the end of the day, school is just, like, the first start of our lives. You know, we're stepping out, we're learning new things. And not to say, like, grades are, like, insignificant, 
but at the end of the day, they really shouldn't like put such a hold of you where you like cry, facts, or you're facts, or facts, something like that, where it makes you feel dumb. You know, yeah, is such yeah a don't dumb cry over grades. It's not <laughs> worth like, it. Why, like, why do we? Yeah. Use it? Who else cries because of the pressure of grades? Oh my god, seven K likes. Of us have. I didn't dislike a single one of them. Yeah, usually there's always like one person they mm -hmm. pick out who's horrible, but. Yeah, these guys were all awesome. I'd love to see same same episode with older people around their 30s or straight A or flunking students in school. Oh, that'd Conversation be really cool. reflecting on how their grades affected their futures. Yeah. That'd be really cool. <laughs> I'd like that. That would that would be cool as well. I'm pretty sure they they will be equally or more successful because I feel like grades mm -hmm. don't affect much. Because I'm they pretty don't. sure if you're failing, you're doing something else, or you're you're finding yourself mm -hmm. or something. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's about it. Hope you guys did enjoy. I just realized I didn't look at the camera once in about 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, go check out Avery and uh, yeah, see you guys. Bye bye.